hymn number two on praising hymn books. Come and go with me to my father's house, to my father's house, to my father's house. Come and go with me to my father's house. Where there's joy, joy, joy. Jesus is the way to my father's house, to my father's house, to my father's house. Jesus is the way to my father's house. Where there's joy, joy, joy. This mass is offered for the souls of Victor and Victoria Vaz. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. As we come before the altar of God this morning, let's be thankful to God once again for the gift of life he has given to each one of us. As we come, let's bring before the Lord all our prayers and petitions and asking him to accompany us throughout the day. Let's also prepare our minds and hearts for the worthy celebration of this Holy Eucharist by recalling to our minds our shortcomings and failures and sincerely asking pardon and mercy from God. I confess, I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Assembly of God, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who caused the minds of the faithful to unite in a single purpose, grant your people to love what you command and to desire what you promise, that amid the uncertainties of this world, our hearts may be fixed on that place where true gladness is found. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brethren, Christ not sent me to baptize, but to preach the gospel, and not with words of eloquent wisdom, lest the cross of Christ be emptied of his power. For the word of the cross is folly to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise, and the discernment of the discerning I will taught. Where is the one who is wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the debater of this age? Has not God made foolish the wisdom of the world? For since in the wisdom of God, the world did not know God through wisdom. It pleased God through folly of what we preach to those who believe. For Jews demand signs, and Greeks seek wisdom. 
what we preach, Christ crucified. A stumbling block to Jews and folly to Gentiles. But to those who are called, both Jews and Greek, Christ the power of God and the wisdom of God. For the foolishness of God is wiser than men, and the weakness of God is stronger than men. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Your response, the Lord's merciful love fills the earth. Kindly repeat. The, the Lord's, Lord's merciful, merciful love, love fills the earth. earth. Bring out your joy to the Lord, O you just. For praise is fitting for the upright. Give thanks to the Lord upon the harp. The ten string lure sing him songs. The response, the Lord's, the Lord's merciful, merciful love fills the earth. earth. For the word of the Lord is faithful, and all his work to be trusted. The Lord loves justice and right, and his merciful love fills the earth. The response, the Lord's, the Lord's merciful, merciful love fills the earth. earth. The Lord frustrates the design of the nation. He defeats the plan of the people. The design of the Lord stands forever. The plans of his heart from age to age. It is mm -hmm. response, the Lord the Lord's merciful, merciful love, love fills the earth. earth. Kindly stand for the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. Stay awake at all times praying that you may have the strength to stand before the Son of Man. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Lord. At that time, Jesus told his disciples this parable. Then the kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins, who took their lamps and went to meet their bridegroom. Five of them were foolish, and five were wise. For when the foolish took their lamps, they took no oil with them, but the wise took flasks of oil with their lamps. As the bridegroom was delayed, they all became drowsy and slept. But at midnight there was a cry, Here is the bridegroom, come out to meet him. Then all those virgins rose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise answered, saying, Since there will not be enough for us and for you, go rather to the dealers and buy for yourselves. And while they were going to buy, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went in with him to the marriage feast, and the door was shut. Afterwards, the other virgins came also, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered, Truly I say to you, I do not know you. Watch therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord, the Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, being prepared on time always helps in our personal, professional, and spiritual lives. I believe we, must, we might have heard the famous story of Saint Don Bosco and Saint Dominic Savio. Saint Don Bosco once happened to ask Saint Dominic Savio, that he was about to die tonight itself, what he would do. Saint Dominic Savio replied, saying, I will do just what I am doing. I will do just what I am doing. And this was the kind of preparedness Saint Dominic uh, Savio had at such a tender age. He was always ready to meet 
the Lord. And something similar we can see in today's gospel where the Lord shares the parable of ten virgins who were waiting for the arrival of bridegroom. And out of ten, five were wise and who had carried along with them extra oil uh, for the lamp and five other were foolish who had not brought extra oil with them. And the word of God says that the at unexpected time, the bridegroom arrived, and there was a loud cry that he is here, come and meet. And the wise uh, virgins, they, because they had an oil with them, and so they went in to join the wedding feast, and other files were left behind. And this parable has a very important message for all of us that is about preparation and vigilance. The word of God invites us to be always being prepared and vigilant in our own lives. And let's reflect on one point that is oil. The oil in the, oil in the gospel represents our faith. And faith is very personal to the person. It is not something which can be shared, which can be borrowed for, or which can be given to someone at the last moment. Only one can give an advice how a faith can be developed or how a faith can be cultivated or nurtured. But it cannot be shared at the last uh, moment. And therefore the word of God today invites us that, that we all of us need to nurture our faith so that we are connected to the Lord and our connection with the Lord keeps us vigilant and prepared so that at any hour when the life brings surprises for us, we can always be prepared to meet the, our Lord. And therefore, it's very important for all of us as we hear this word of God, we ask the God and His, especially the power of His Holy Spirit so that we may always be vigilant in our lives and continue to grow in our faith by nurturing our faith by the word of God. Hymn number 131 on page 36. Lord, accept this red and white. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O Lord, who gained for yourself a people by adoption, through the one sacrifice offered once for all, bestow graciously on us, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace in your church through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith, and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending the honest spirit upon them by the due fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and he entered William his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to the disciples saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was he ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new metal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer, in Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, parting the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Philip Neri our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them to the light of your face. Hamas and us all we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. I may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to sing. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in all days, that by the help of our mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, 
as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of, Lamb of God, God, you, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world. Of the world. Have, have mercy on us. us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. <coughs> behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word and my soul shall be. Hymn number 154 on page 45. Come to the waters, you are thirsty, though you have nothing, I bid you come and be filled with the goodness I Let us pray. Complete within us, O Lord, we pray, the healing work of your mercy, and graciously perfect and sustain us, so that in all things we may please you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth to the Mass is celebrated. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Hymn number 305 on page 97. Sweetheart of Jesus, Fount of love and mercy, Today we come, Thy blessings to implore, O touch our hearts, 
hands. So cold and so ungrateful, and make them long. Sweet.